y'all doing? Welcome to my channel of Chasing Ghosts. I am Tara Smith and I got a whole chat this morning and my mic wasn't plugged in so take two. <laughs> there will be another video with a bunch of music added over it because can't tell what I'm saying. There's like the microphone on the GoPro and there's the one that I used in my helmet. That's the one that wasn't plugged all the way up. It was the one in my helmet. I don't know why. It was in the hole. It wasn't plugged in there. So, it is what it is. And I put a bunch of music over it. And for the take two, as far as I know, I have power at home right now. We got hit by hurricane uh, barrel. And, well, I lost all my perishable food. A lot of people did. Then we got power back. We still don't have cable or internet or anything like that. But we have power, so we have AC. And then I got a little roof damage. I got a window that's blown out. I got fence damage, but I've got neighbors with trees in their house, so I'm not really complaining about that, you know? I don't have a tree in my living room, so I'm not going to complain uh, about a little fence damage and some stuff peeled up on the roof. Sorry about the coffin. But we've got people dying down here. Because of the heat. And. You know not having. Power for medical equipment. That sort of thing. And you hear the gravel go up into your fender. That's always nice. sound weird. It's kind of like new cars too and new homes. They got similar problems. They used to make vehicles that you could get air through. You had vents like you know 18 wheelers had vents in the door and all that. Your cars had wing windows that sort of thing. Now they don't and it sucks a whole lot worse if your AC goes out. Like right now I think it's 99 degrees. You know, we haven't even hit the heat of the summer yet. And all the trees should be out of the road. There'll be a few leaning close. But I think a lot of them that were easy to fall fell with that storm a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> that probably helped us out. But the homes are now made for AC. I didn't have air conditioning until I was 18. The actual homes I lived in had high ceilings and they had windows all the way around. And you could get the air to go through them. You know? They were made with the heat in mind. New homes are not. It's also a reason why a lot of them get that mold in them. They can't breathe. You need to open your homes up. Let them air out. But, you know, they don't have, you know, a way to get anywhere or anything like that. You know, all the services are down. I still can't send uh, text messages on my phone for some reason. I don't know why. I need to call them on that. I've been calling everybody else. You know, insurance companies, all that kind of stuff. And I don't know if my repairs versus the deductible, which one's going to be 
I think it's going to be worth it just to do it myself because the deductible is probably going to be about what it costs to fix everything. So why raise my insurance rates when I'm going to have to pay it anyways? I've been busy. So, and work. Work was slow last week. This week's check is going to suck so bad. And I know it's still going to be more than a lot of people make, but I have a few things. I don't have much. I don't live too extravagant a life, but I do have two Harleys and a house and two cars quite a bit of money to pay that, you know, um, another about two years I'll probably have one of those things paid off, it's like light at the end of the tunnel, and also I don't buy new stuff all the time. The truck that I traded in on my pickup was a 93 Chevy Cheyenne. Steered and rode like a boat. You know what I'm talking about. I felt like I was getting in a race car when I got in my Ford. You know, F-150, four-door, 5.0 Coyote. Too low a gear. What the hell? You know, I felt like that thing handled like a race car. So I keep things for a very long time. And that truck just got to the point. I don't know everybody wants those old trucks now. But it just got to the point it wasn't worth fixing anymore. <laughs> Not for me. Wasn't old enough for me to want to hang on to and fix either. For some people it may be, but I mean, if it was a 52 Ford or something, you know, I'd have held on to it. You know, what was that, 67, 68, had that twin eye beam on the side. Um, that Chevy that still had the wooden floor. I had, uh, what was that? I said it was a 61, 62 Chevy floorboard for some reason. I don't know if somebody replaced it and it was wood, but it was like wood fit up in there. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, but I grew up, people still had, you know, three on the tree and stuff like that. And you could buy a $200 car, which $200 was a lot more money then than it is now. Inflation, that sort of thing. Minimum wage was, I think like 370. I don't know. I was getting like 10 cents a bale. I remember when it went up and like, I want a quarter a bale. Okay. You know. It's farm kid. But you could drag something home and fix it. You had some old pickup, three on a tree. I do like those old step sides though. They've tried to kind of make them look like that again a little bit, but it, 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 it fails. You know, the originals are so much better. Especially if you had to haul sheetrock or anything else. Fit right between the fender walls. Just drive an old Studebaker. That one's cool. the old Ford and the old Studebaker and one of them had a reverse lockout and the other started on the floor. A Studebaker is still being used by the way. It's got a hay fork on the back end of it. It's still taking bales out to the pasture. But anyways, it, it, once I pay things off, I keep them for a long time. 
and I'm probably going to sell one of these bikes. It'll probably be the Fat Bob. And that's just what it is. Oh, the sole's coming off my boot. That's just lovely. Fucking lovely. out of a 13 speed and this thing's only got six gears I know I know I'm lucky to have six but point being to all that next week's gonna suck my check's gonna be shitty from lack of work I mean I work but it wasn't the same amount of work instead of doing two or three boxes you do one box you know because you know the plants and all them people got hit too and then they're down and you can't run anything when they start off they're not starting off full force so what can you do at least i had a job to go to i'm not complaining as much as i am bitching okay just so you know i'm not complaining i'm just bitching so it is what it is. And letting y'all know what's going on in my little world. My little world. Oh, I'm stuck in my own world. I don't know. They haven't picked up the limb. A lot of people have been burning. If you live like right through here, you can just go ahead and burn it. You see all these limbs and stuff still down. Oh, good lord, that was not good. I don't think whatever I ate is agreeing with me. But anyways. <laughs> the neighborhoods are, um... Nobody's picked up the limbs or any of that stuff for the trees. We were rednecks, so we got chainsaws and pickups and we'll clear the road. And we got stuff out of the way and all that good stuff. But... Um, yeah, my stomach's not feeling good. I hope I don't puke in my helmet. Oh well. We'll find out. Yeah, we got these big piles of stuff. For right now, we're just kind of breaking them up and putting them in trash bags. They'll take a few trash bags, but they're not going to take 40 or 50 black trash bags at one time. You know. That's just not going to happen. I can't see anything. I need to clean my visor. It's got bugs all over it. Wonderful bugs. Hopefully I don't have a bug on my thing. My lens. If I do, I'm sorry.
makes it easier when you got to get to those hoses and all that stuff underneath that you can pull that plate up. But it's not sealed real good. And I think what's happening is all that heat from the motor and the hot air, once it gets up in the 90s going down the road, it's just coming in the cap. So once it gets up in the 90s, I don't have any AC in that truck until I park it. Now if I park it, the AC will start blowing again. what can you do? Not much. I complained about it. I told my boss what I thought was wrong with that. We shall see if they fix it. I have no idea. Look at that grass over there. You want to bail that shit? That used to be my summer. Alfalfa wasn't too bad, you know, you just like a snot face all day. Cerisa, I hated Cerisa. That stuff would cut you up. We had this one guy we'd haul for. He went put up on the top of his barn. He had it set up where he could reach up there and pull a bale down into the stables. Wasn't much room. It was a pain in the ass. You know that tractor never worked you weren't allowed to use it. You couldn't stack it, pull it up there. You know, you got the pole hanging out in front of the barn. It's got a pulley. That's what it's for. No, 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 no. You got your friend bucket hay bales. and football players out there with us. They'd show up drinking a coat. We'd make a bet. 100 bell. Uh, 200 bell. When we were gonna cut them loose and here's your money, have a nice day because they got coat coming out their nose. So we never had a pop-up loader. Pop-up loader was running beside. If there was only two of you, one of you had to run up there and steer the truck while you're running beside the trailer. So, yeah. You learned how to work. I'm still working. I don't really know anything else. It's just life. Work, 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 die. My son said, you're gonna work yourself to death. Like, well, it's a good death. What more can I say? It's like, look around you. That's all me, man. Ain't nobody gave me shit. Nobody takes pride in that anymore. We don't have any more survivors. It's all victims. We never wanted to be a victim of shit. Everybody's got to out-victim somebody else. Fuck that shit. You hurt my feelings. I don't give a fuck about your feelings. Did the job get done? That's all I care about. That's all my boss cares about. All the IRS cares about. Did we get our money? You know? I mean, in reality, was it done? Was the task done? Did they get their money? Did the job get finished? Was the task done? In the end, that's all anyone really gives a damn about. You know. Nobody cares if somebody yelled at you.
can you go through the parking lot? I don't know. I never said I was smart. See? I go get it at the back of the line. See if he's looking at the same thing. Or is he getting gas? We got it blocked off. Oh, and my hip hurts. I go get in the back. It was my mistake. Uh, thank you, Mr. Truck Driver. I drive a truck too, I understand. New construction. Sand. Sand is always great. I think I kind of could have got out. I don't know. It's technically you're not supposed to drive through there. It is what it is. I don't give a damn. Are you gonna drive the speed limit the whole way? Oh, good lord. Please say you're turning. Are you just teasing me with the brake lights? I'm gonna drive the speed limit the whole way. God, this sucks. And I gotta be up early. Oh, God. I think I'm gonna do my video this morning as, uh, but if you're watching this, you've probably already seen the video I'm talking about. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna just release it or if I'm gonna do a premiere but it's basically just music because my mic was unplugged and nobody can hear me I mean it was getting sound <laughs> but outside my helmet it was using the GoPro mic you don't want to use that one you want to use that lav mic that I got in my helmet so you don't have to go fast but the speed limit oh hell no that's insane who the fuck would do that? I got hair in my face. Been bugging me the whole way. It's hot enough to make me want to shave my head. That would cause problems with my employment. I'm still kind of weird about cutting my hair short. I've had it too short before, like, you know. But I've had friends get fired for cutting their hair. I know they technically aren't supposed to do that anymore, but... And, I don't know. <laughs> PTSD something. It's something. Anyway, I will catch y'all later. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna surprise the wife. See if anybody's been creeping around my back steps. Never ever tell the wife if you're coming home early. It's just not a good plan. You show up and surprise her. And if there's someone
someone else involved, you surprise them too. So. <laughs> anyway, I will catch y'all later. You're all awesome. Adios. Sayonara. Vaya con Dios. Nasra. Ciao. See you later. This is yo. All that good shit. I don't know how the kids say it today. Kinda don't give a damn. <laughs> I'll catch you later. Y'all are awesome. Thanks. Bye.